G'day guys. Today I want to show you a strategy that is specifically designed to avoid losing streaks. Now the way that it does this is that we actually wait for specific conditions to be met until we actually place our bet. Now essentially the way that the strategy works is you can look at any one of these numbers here and every number has three properties. So if we have a look at 23 we can see that that is an odd number, that is a red number and that is in the range of 19 to 36, so that's a high number. So any number that you look at will have those three properties. They'll be odd or even, red or black, and high or low, except for zero, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until we see two conditions being met simultaneously in the last two spins. Now, if that sounds complicated, it's probably gonna be easier to see it in action, but I'll show you that in a second. But when these conditions are met, we're going to actually bet the opposite case and then continue to martingale our bet until we get a win. So it's, it's, it's a lot of words and it's a lot simpler in practice. So I'll show you how it works. So you can see down here, I'm on 7-bit and I've got a balance of 200 bucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, you want to choose a low starting bet. Now the lower the starting bet that you choose, the safer that this strategy works. However, the slower that you actually earn money. The higher the bet you choose, you're going to earn money quicker, but the chances of getting a couple losses that'll wipe out your entire bankroll is much higher. So I really suggest going with a low bankroll, but for this video, I'm going to go with $5. That's about a medium bankroll. Uh, hopefully if I don't get too unlucky, then you know I should make a good profit. If I was trying to be more safe, I'd probably go with $2, but we'll start here. So what we do is we have a look and we look at the last two spins that have come up on the wheel. So we can see that they were both red, a 9 and a 27. So they were both red, so that means we're going to place a bet on black. We can also see that they were both odd numbers, 9 and 27 are both odd. So we're also going to be placing a bet on even. Now because 9 is a low number and 27 is a high number, that's an even mix, one low, one high. So we're not going to place a bet on high or low. So we're just going to leave those and we're going to have a one bet on black and one bet on even. And then we're going to spin again and see how we go. So we're essentially what we're going to do is we're going to play three different games at the same time. So we're going to be playing red or black, even and odd and the high or low. So you can see the black hit, but the even didn't. So that's still another odd number. And you can see now we've still got that condition where we've got two odds. So we're going to martingale our bet, which means we're going to keep doubling our bet every time we lose until we actually get a win. So I'm going to double this even bet. So if we have a look though, we can see we've got a red and black, so we're not going to play red or black. And we have a high and a low, so we're not going to play high or low. We're just going to play the even with double what our last bet was. So we go again. Boom, there's our even number. So that's it, we win another five bucks from that. So you can see now we're up a total of 10 bucks. And I'll probably chuck a profit counter around here somewhere, so that way it's a bit easier for you guys to keep track of you know, just exactly how we're doing. <clears throat> so we look at the last two spins, we see 15 and 10. They're both black numbers and they're both low. They're both beneath 18, so they're both low. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a one unit bet, $5 bet on red, and then we're gonna place a one unit bet on high. And we're gonna spin again. And essentially this is this is how the strategy works is we're playing these same three games at the same time and boom there we go we can see because we hadn't hit high and we hadn't hit red we had to hit one eventually there we go we won both our both of our spins in the same go now this is an interesting case we can have a look now we have a black and a red we have an odd and an even and a high and a low so none of our conditions are met so what we're going to do in this case is we're actually just going to if you're if you're in a casino in real life or watching a live casino game online you just sit this spin out you just watch the results of this spin if that's not an option for you what i like to do is i just place a one unit bet on red or black just something nice and small you'll you'll win it half the time you'll lose it half the time but for one dollar i'm not too worried we managed to win so you know you always got to be happy even with a two dollar win but we have a look, we've got a 25 and a 13, they're both odd numbers. So we're going to go back to our strategy, bet an even and go again. Because they're red and black, we don't bet red and black, we just bet the even. There's our even. Now we look at our last two, we see 13, 20. They're both black numbers, so we're going to bet a red. Now because they're odd and even, we don't play that. They're high and low, so we don't play a high and low. There we go, we don't get the red. 
So what we're going to do is martingale the, martingale the bet. So we double it and go again. Once again, I, I actually should have placed an odd bet there. And in that case, you can see why we should have placed an odd bet. Because we got a one red, which is red. And we also would have then won the 10 bucks. So a little bit of an error on my part. But as, as I've always said, it's hard to explain the strategies and play perfectly at the same time. But we've got two lows. So we're going to go high and go again. So you can see this is a little bit slower than some of the other strategies. Like you're not going to make a hundred bucks in five spins, not unless you've got a bankroll or you're putting huge bets down, which is incredibly risky. But with a, with a strategy like this, because of that, it's a lot safer, but you can manage to get a lot more smaller wins, play for a lot longer and hopefully, you know, have a bit of fun while you're doing it. So we have a 26 and a one. That's the case again, where they're red and black, high and low, odd and even, we do nothing. I'm gonna chuck my trusty $1 bet on black and hope for the best. And we lose that one. So th there we go. We lost the two bucks that we won last time. Not worried about it because now we got a 26 and a 25. They're both high. So we're going to go low and we're going to go and see how we do. We get a zero. Now, in the case of a zero, we pretend they don't exist. They're, that's how the house actually makes their money. If, if we were to play this strategy without the zeros involved, which would be great, then we would on average most of the time sit about even. That's how the casinos maintain their house edge in this strategy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that, you know, this strategy's got a positive expected value. No strategy's got a positive expected value. It's all about trying to get the wins in the short little times that you're playing and then walking out with them. So if you get a zero, we pretend it doesn't happen and we just play again. We just look at the last two before the zero. So, there we go. That was our Low was it? Low is what we bet? Yes, that's what it was. Beautiful. So we have 25, 4, they're odd and even, so we're just going to do our one unit bet on black. But I think that you guys are try. I think that you guys can kind of see the, the essence of this strategy now. How it actually works and how you can implement it yourself. Now it's up to you guys where you want to implement it, whether or not you want to try it out in a casino or if you want to try it online, then I can highly recommend 7-Bit. I've been using them the last couple months and they've worked perfectly for me. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you're playing this. Just make sure that when you do play this, you're only ever going to play it on a European roulette wheel. If you play on an American wheel, they'll have two zeros and that's going to double the house edge and double your chances of losing. So just avoid American roulette at all costs. It's never worth it. So with this one, we've got that interesting case again. So I'm just going to do my one unit on black and pray for the best again. Boom. So with, with all those bets, you know, now we're hovering at about even. So I could go lower, I could go higher. Half the time I'm going to win, half the time I'm going to lose. So I'm not too stressed. We got another one of those cases because we got a 10 that's even odd red black high low we go again even odd red black oh no these are two even numbers so now i'm going to do two on, a bet on odd so we're going to go again if it fails we martingale if it wins we win 10 bucks and we fail that one so we martingale we go 10 10 on odd actually i should do five on black it's not going to let me put five on black now unfortunate i should have done the five on black that's exactly why because we would have hit that black number so I, this, is, this has been a perfect explanation of this strategy for you guys and I hope that you can really see how it works. Normally a martingale, we don't have any chance. We don't have any clue what we're doing. We're just placing you know, on one of those even bets and then hoping for the best. This way, in order to even start our martingale progression, we need to make sure we've gotten the two opposite results. So that means the chances of getting, you know, four results in a row is double what it would be normally. That's improving your odds on a regular martingale tremendously. So if we've got the two high, we're going to go on the low and just go again. So you can see we've got 34 bucks now at this point. We got the low that's going to put us up again. So we've made now what? Nearly 50 bucks, $44 in nine minutes or something since I've been recording. So I think that's a, that's a pretty good pay rate. That works out to be like 60 bucks an hour. So I can't, I can't guarantee that that rate's going to hold forever. Of course, the longer you play, the closer you get to the casino's house edge and the more they will win. So as always, if you manage to get that win, cash out and buy a couple extra drinks. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found this strategy useful. If you guys do try it out, then be sure to let me know about it in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope to see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching to the end. Cheers guys.